at the storage unit on a beautiful Sunday evening-ish. We have 27 sales to go over. Uh, at the end, we'll tell you how we got these 27 sales, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't on this side of the Rainforest Cafe. Mm -hmm. Really? I didn't see that. So much sold. So we're going to go ahead and go over first thing right here. Big old vintage Warwood 5 splitter. $14.40 plus shipping on that bad boy. Then also a little bowl there. Yeah, bowl, 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 bowl. Uh, it is a little tiny clock. It's like a dollhouse clock. Now these, we didn't put any effort into getting these to work. We said that they were non-tested, needed batteries. I'm guarantee you that they are going to work just because everything worked out of that house. But we sold that one for $22.50. Thank you so much, Nicole, for buying these Vibrant uh, Women's Five Finger Shoes. They're in excellent condition. They're heading your way. Also, you came out to our Whatnot show the other night. We appreciated everybody coming out to your jewelry show. It was excellent. A lot of people showed up and supported mm -hmm. us, so we do appreciate that. Y'all got some really good deals on some some jewelry and uh the next one is going to be a like a all-out show type of thing mm -hmm. and we do whatnot shows every saturday on whatnot at 6 p.m unless we're out of town yes so that ain't too bad uh phil sold hey phil nine dollars plus shipping on that chris you bought an rca uh, led mini television uh we cut a deal for 40 bucks on that it's actually a pretty good deal because they go for probably like 50 to 60 bucks that's actually at the house and it's really neat looking it's just this tiny little tv see it oh, yeah. it worked like a charm too i put it that one actually has no scratches on the front because it still had the protector on it which was pretty cool 13 dollars for a uh, garmin here the garmin Nuvi 1390 lifetime mats. Lifetime maps sell a lot better than other ones, but I mean that's still pretty good because we had like less than a dollar into that. We sold a really nice pair of Nikes. You're gonna see we actually sold a ton of shoes. Those bad boys sold for $28 and I think 30 cents plus shipping on them. Then we had these Fire King Bowl so We've had these for a could have been that long because it's on the new uh outside, so maybe a year or so. We're trying to get away from these, but honestly, that, that's not a bad sale. They sold for $26.99 plus shipping. $9 for these old pens. you got to watch out for the old pen. The, I think the only reason this one sold is because it has that yellow handle. I don't think you would have got $9 for that if it didn't have the yellow handle. This is a 109 These old pen reels, unless they're the big ones, they just don't sell as well as they used to, I think, five years ago. But uh, they still do sell, but again, they're only $9 on that. $16.20 on a pin seeker putter, steel shaft. So not shabby labby there. Then we did have some gnome cell. Come here, little gnomes. There they are. They are the Tom Clark gnomes. They have the thimbles on the head. We picked these up in a state sale in Hilton Head. Mm hmm. Buford, Hilton Head, somewhere around there. Uh, we got them for $2 a piece, and that they, they sold for $17.50 plus shipping. We got this for free. This does not have the thermos on the inside. It is the Goober and the Ghost Chaser 1974 lunchbox. It has some condition issues, but overall it's decent. It has a pretty big dent on the top there. Uh, but it sold for $20 plus shipping. Ugg sandals here sold for only $10 plus shipping. They're little wedges. And then we did have another sale right here. This was great. Thank you. Got some shorts and got some Adidas. They will be heading your way. And we do combine shipping, so they'll go in one box. We, we refund you the uh, the over at shipping. Piggy sold. Remember this? This was also free to us up in an attic. This sold for $30 plus shipping, like, very quickly. Hilltop. Is that, is that the piggy bank that doesn't give you your money back? Yeah, it doesn't back? give you your money back. So you put your money in it, right? And they doesn't have a way to get it out. So it is a thief pig. Yeah, you have to chop his head off to get your money back, I guess. I don't know. Hilltop Collectibles, you bought a uh, watch lot for us for $10. Then we did have a impulse utility uh, framing nailer. I was going to test this out. Thing is, is that either the battery's dead on it and it's not charging properly. So I said not test it uh, for parts. Sold instantaneously for 30 bucks. Then we did have some Haracha sell. $31.50 for those bad boys. We did sell almost like very quickly also an LG K20 Plus phone. So for $19.13 and that came out of the uh, the storage unit. Rainforest Cafe shirt, $15.30 plus shipping on that. The Olympus camera is also at the house. That did not, it needed a charger and a battery. Still sold within like five minutes for 20 bucks plus shipping. Wheeze. Wee oui, wee! Oui. These are French. Just kidding, not French. 
What? $20.25 plus shipping. Uh, it does not have the controllers. It does not have the sensor. It does have, it is missing the top plate here. It is in decent condition. It does work Wii's. They just aren't worth a ton anymore. I actually got that for like probably a dollar at the Peaches to Beaches. Uh, this right here is going to be really fun to ship. Look at this big boy. The Ion Hooded Hard Hair Salon Style Dryer. Probably want to stay away from things like this nowadays, right? Oh, yeah. This has been sitting for two years. Years, years and years. So for $26 plus shipping, we would not be picking up another one of those. But a good learning lesson because this is a lot easier to ship. Check this out. This has only been sitting for probably six months. The Affliction shirt, $27 plus shipping. Just boop, and a poly blag. This $26 plus shipping. Got to find a box. So, oh, they did buy, they did uh, pay for the little Japanese Zippos not working. They both need flints. They sold for $18 plus shipping. A Wii sports game sold uh, that was actually found in this Wii right here, which was pretty funny. We got home, turned it on, and it popped out. 20 bucks plus shipping on that. And that is everything that sold on Friday and Saturday and some of Sunday at this point. And so, again, we do appreciate uh, sales. Honestly, it's not like a secret. You just post good quality items at good prices and we've been doing 20 a day since we've been back and our sales have been back to normal and they got back to normal way faster. We did run a 10% sale, but honestly, we haven't been seeing a whole bunch of like traction for our sales, right? Mm -hmm. We only do 10% now because then we send out another 10% offer on that. So you'll get a whole bunch of watchers and then, then so it's really a 20% sale in the entire store, which 20% sale is a lot because you're taking like 15 to 16% for eBay, so you're down like 36%. So we don't really have run in a whole bunch of sales anymore because a lot of them honestly don't, I don't, I, I don't know. The traction just ain't there with them. But what we're gonna do is uh, go home, you're gonna work on your jewelry stuff, I'm gonna work on packing this stuff up. We're gonna pack it up, ship it out. At the storage unit, we got some really interesting sales to go over. First one, this is from Peaches to Beaches. It's a black box. No, it's from a Nintendo Switch. We got this in a little lot of things. These Nintendo Switch, uh, it's a, you put it in there and there's a wire and it goes up to a TV and there's a plug. I don't really know what it does because I'm not a, a person that does Nintendo Switch, but I just ran the numbers on it. It had the proper, the thing is why this went for 30 bucks is it has the proper AC and then this other HDMI that's Nintendo branded and $30 plus shipping on that. $9 for the bear. Then the same person bought the, uh, the, Nice Embark rope collar, and that sold for twelve dollars. And we're going to combine shipping on that. Fourteen dollars for a brand new Adidas shirt. Then forty-five dollars for this poly bag. Just kidding. It has a baby blue majestic Yankees jersey in it. Brand spanking new. We did pick this, this up for ten bucks at a yard sale a while ago. Then everybody said these wouldn't sell. There we got a lot of flack on the old YouTube's on the other channel, but soul comps don't lie. That's the thing that you have to understand about eBay. If you find something that has sold like twice, right? Like once might be a fluke, but probably not even. But they had, these things sold, they are, they're marked Japan, they're just shells and they're marked Japan. And I looked them up because they were marked Japan and they had a good sell through rate. And we picked them up probably what, like four months ago, mm -hmm. three months ago. Probably picked them up for, I think it was like five bucks, less than $5. They sold for $40 plus shipping. And yeah. $40 for some seashells, seashells right? <laughs> and everybody on the other channel, oh, they're junk. You can buy them at the, you know, uh, pottery dollar barn gentle. for a dollar, dollar gentle stuff. Not when it says Japan, you mm. can't. So 40 bucks. So again, the, the sole comps on eBay do not lie. Just learn how to, you know, look at that correctly. And then you'll be able to see if it sells. And then don't worry about the haters because there's a lot of haters out there for sure. Mm -hmm. Cybershot. These um, always sell very quickly. The guy hasn't paid for it yet, but it should sell. I mean, he should pay for it. If not, it will sell immediately after that. These Sony Cyber Shots, there's going to be a model number on these somewhere. Run the model number. This sold instantaneously for $85. The thing about this one, it, it's a big deal if you have the charger. Because these aren't the ones that you can plug up. You have to have the charger to charge the battery. Uh, it's kind of annoying when it comes to some of these, but it really goes up in value if you have the charger and a good battery, because if not, the person has to buy the battery and the charger. But somebody did pay for this Callaway Diablo 4H. 
little four hybrid club. So for I think $32 plus shipping. And that's it. We've uh, had really good sales, consistent sales. It's because once we get back, we list 20 a day. It doesn't matter if that 20 takes us eight hours or takes us an hour. We, but 20 decent items, that's the big difference. Like I could list 20 single sockets. That's not that good because the sell-through rates, unless there's some specialty snap-on or Maco or you know what I'm saying, some specialty socket. If you list 20 not so good items, I personally don't think that's a big boost in your store. You list 20 good items with solid sell-through rates, your store will start to flourish a lot better. And that's what we've been doing and it works really, really well for us and it'll, it usually evens out. And so just remember, always look at the sell-through rate when you're listing stuff. We've stopped listing things with bad sell-through rates. Yeah. Unless it's like super unique or something like that. Um, but if it's like, there was some old camera gear today that I had and I opted not to list it because there was 27 listed and zero sold. We had nothing into it, so guess what? She's getting donated or to the churchyard sale. Yeah. Remember, we do have the website up. We were kind of hiding that, not hiding it. We haven't told anybody about it lately. Um, other than this is the first video. We've already had our first order, Adam. Actually, it was our first order on yeah. it, so thank you so much for that. We put it on our Facebook, uh, but now y'all are the first ones to know. Even the Barry Thrift Machine channel doesn't know yet because we haven't. Uh, we want to get more merch on it. Right. So, and also we got magnets. We got bigger decals. We got car decals now. We got koozies. Mm -hmm. We are going to get mugs soon. They're not up yet because they sold out like that fast. They were very fast sellers. Uh, so also, if you could, there will be a link in the comments. In the comments, just hit that. Then also show you our eBay store, our whatnot link. Um, gyro pack, which we use, you get 10% off if you use my code for your first order though. But if you continue to use my code, we appreciate it because it is an affiliate link. And uh, so what we're gonna do is pack this stuff up, ship it out.